Hey guys! Today, we're diving into a hot topic in the world of street racing and one of the most popular automotive shows to ever hit our screens. That's right, we're talking about Street Outlaws. But more than just the show, we're focusing on a question that's been simmering for years now. Was Big Chief right? Has Street Outlaws lost its way, or is it simply evolving? Buckle up, because we're about to break it all down. Now, let's roll back the clock for a second. Do you remember when Street Outlaws first aired? Man, it was like nothing we'd ever seen before. A gritty, raw portrayal of underground street racing. It wasn't just a show, it was an adrenaline rush that showcased a side of car culture that few people got to witness up close. Back then, the races were real, the stakes were high, and the drama was as raw as the asphalt. And at the center of it all was one man, Big Chief. Not only was he a dominant figure in the racing scene, but he was the heart of the show. The glue that held the crew together. If you ask any true fan, they'll tell you, Big Chief was street outlaws. But then, something happened. Big Chief, this larger-than-life character who seemed inseparable from the show, made a decision that shook the whole community. He left. Walked away from the spotlight, the cameras, and the very thing he helped build. Fans were left scratching their heads. Some were angry, others just sad. It felt like losing a cornerstone of what made Street Outlaws great. So, why did he leave? According to Chief, the show was drifting away from its roots. It was becoming less about the raw street racing that fans fell in love with and more about structured, polished events like No Prep Kings. Now, don't get me wrong, No Prep Kings has its own fan base, and there's no denying it brings the heat when it comes to high-octane action. But for the diehards? For the purists? Something felt different. Chief was concerned. He believed that the very soul of street outlaws was at risk. And guess what? Over time, many fans started to feel the same way. Fast forward to today, look around. The show is still running, but it's changed, hasn't it? No Prep Kings is dominating the scene, and the streets that once fueled the heart of the show are feeling more like a distant memory. Don't get me wrong, there are still races. There are still epic rivalries. But is it the same? Not quite. I know some of you are nodding your heads right now. You get it. That unpredictability that kept you glued to your seat, the gritty street races that had a certain edge, some say it's all but gone. The competition feels more controlled, more polished, and, dare I say, more commercialized. And you know who saw it coming? Big Chief. The big question is this, was he right? Was the shift toward no prep kings and live events the right move, or did it strip away the essence of what made Street Outlaws special? If you ask those who lived for the raw street races of the early seasons, the answer might be an overwhelming yes. They'll tell you something's missing, that old school magic that once made every episode feel like you were watching something underground, something real. But hey, it's not all doom and gloom. No Prep Kings is thriving. It's got its own fan base, and the cars? Oh, they're faster than ever. The stakes are still high, and for fans of high-speed competition, there's a lot to love. But if you're a purist? If you tuned in for that unfiltered, edge-of-your-seat street action? It's hard not to feel like something's changed, and not necessarily for the better. So where does that leave us? What does the future hold for Street Outlaws? Can the show find its way back to those underground roots, or has it evolved into something entirely different? Only time will tell. But one thing is for sure, Big Chief had a vision for the show, and his departure wasn't just about stepping away from the camera. It was a warning, a plea to keep the spirit of street racing alive. Now, I want to hear from you. Was Big Chief right? Has the show lost its soul, or is this just a natural evolution? Maybe you're all in on No Prep Kings, or maybe you're one of those fans still holding out hope for a return to those classic street races. Drop a comment below, let us know your thoughts, and let's keep the conversation going. Until next time, keep those engines revved and the tires burning. This is Street Outlaws, and the race is far from over.